I'm going baby on baby. Uh -huh. I drill for your bitch in Mercedes. Uh -huh. You know that I stay in the latest. Uh -huh. I only fuck if she tastes. Uh -huh. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, this is Savage TV, back with another video right here. It's a Valkyrie Prime build or a Valkyrie build. Build, I mean, but um, this build is based around the paralysis itself, her third ability. You probably want to want to run it transcends for the tool and intensify on this build for extra ability screen. It, you probably would say, Oh, it don't make no sense. Well, the reason why I'm running it is also for extra additional damage on her knockdown when I hit the paralysis itself. So when I hit a third ability and um I'm near enemies and shit, I do additional damage on knockdown to them by having the transcends for the two mod intensify. Another suggestion I can give you on the build that I didn't demonstrate it in this old video, cause like I s uh I haven't stated it already, but this video is a month old and um my clip got like I couldn't upload none of my shit because one um Xbox One drive was shit and I finally found out the way to do that now. But um you don't really have to use Transcends 42. You can switch that out with Prime Continuity or just Continuity Mod if you don't have Prime Continuity for extra uh, duration on your build. So you can keep them stunned for a lot longer time. But you probably want to keep Intensify in the build as well. So you can switch that out too. I only use one form on her. I can't remember what I used the form on. But um, you probably see, you see me switch out the Cunning Drift and you also see me switch out with Power Drift. I switched that out for... Um, not for ability range, but I switched it out power drift for ability scrim. So I could do additional more damage than what I'm already doing in the build. And as you see there's two other builds I use for her as well. I complete I play completely different on the other two builds and shit. But um pretty much what this build is, um is based around her third ability. I'm keeping the enemies stunned a lot longer and I'm also doing additional damage on knocking them down. While also keeping them stunned and keeping myself alive. I mean a whole bunch of aggro. Got a whole bunch of enemies around me and shit. Pretty much trying to survive. That's all I'm trying to do. As you've seen this whole video. Even though it's a month old. Um, I don't actually kill none of the enemies the fastest. Not, I'll say it's probably. not the, no, It's not fast at all. I don't, have a, I don't have the fastest killing build for my melee. On this weapon. Because this weapon build I'm using in this video. Like I said, this video is a month old. I'm using a build based around healing for my weapon attacks. So I'm using the healing return mod for heals. While also using slash and toxin. You probably wonder why I'm using toxin on this build. I'm using toxin mods because uh toxin by having a toxin on your build and you having slash, it makes your heals from the healing return mod heal you a little bit better than what it normally does. As you see the enemy level right, this is 110. And I have some in 18 of them, but I'm going to max it out. Screw up the heavy gunners. 20. And then they're all at the enemy level of 110. As you can see right there. I'm just showing it to you. Like I said, my weapon attacks is not the best. You don't have to use the same weapon I use. You don't have to use the same weapon build I use. But you probably want to make sure you have the healing return mod in there. And make sure you heal from all your weapon attacks. There's plenty of other weapons you could use to get a... Uh, Heals back too. There's another weapon, uh, weapon healing mod too. Can't think of the name of it right now. I got it as well. I got three of them. Two of them max, and the other one I don't use. But, um, I don't really use that mod at all. There's some weapons I don't use heavy attacks with because depending on what mod, uh, it stands for certain mods, the animations are shit to me. They're too slow, and I, I don't like them because you lunge across the damn map and shit. Don't make no sense. But, um, like I said, if you don't like this build for the weapon, you don't have to use the same type of weapon build I use. You don't have to use the same type of weapon I use as well in this build. It's more about surviving. That is why I'm using the limit turn. I'm trying to survive and keep her health up at all times. So she won't die while also keeping the enemy. I mean, the enemy stunned. That is pretty much the whole build. It's pretty much God mode because as long as you can keep the enemy stunned. And you can keep weapon attack while they're down and shit. Because they already take additional damage from being hit with your third ability so they already take additional damage from that on top of taking additional damage from being stunned from the paralysis itself and while you also maintaining to keep them stunned and then you do a weapon attacks of course you'll be able to kill them but if you run a lot better weapon than I am in this video I got way better weapons than this I don't have that many weapons I don't have the most weapons on the game I don't have the best weapons on the game I have a few of them 
and I don't have the craziest build or none of that. I don't have none of the craziest mods either. I have a decent amount of mods, two good mods and stuff like that. And I have a good amount of decent weapons and shit that has crazy builds and stuff that I can get faster kills in this shit. But my whole thing in this in, in this video is pretty much just me trying to survive on Valkyrie. Playing different from everybody else who might play with Valkyrie. This is another way to play with her. It's like it's more boring. You don't really have to play this way with Valkyrie like I already stated. If I did, not now I did, but like I stated pretty much, you don't have to play this way. It seems way more boring because it's slow. But like I said, I would suggest not using the weapon I use. And if you does use the same weapon I use, damn sure don't use the um, the same build. You don't have to use the, uh, the same exact build as me because it's going to take you a while killing enemies even higher. But if you're killing enemies way lower than this, of course you ain't going to have that much problem killing them. You should, you'll be able to take them out pretty fast. Anybody 100 and above, you, you're going to take you a while to kill. Most enemies you ain't going to come across in the game that's going to be this high anyway. Only mostly through similar crime and stuff like that. But um, pretty much my whole build is based around me surviving and staying alive. Like I said, I have a slow ass build. I don't really kill them the fastest or the slowest either, but I just kill them somewhat decent. Not the best. There's plenty of other ways you can play with her or not. You don't have to play the exact same way. As you see me right here, I'm just fucking around with this last ad, keeping him stunned and shit. So this last heavy gunner by himself, or corrupted heavy gunner, I'm just keeping them down, stunning them every time they get up, and then they're taking toxic damage. You see, like a red effect around them. And you see that I'm just fucking with them at this point, and I'm just slinging them around with my energizing dash and shit, and my operator. And I'm not even trying to kill him. As you see right there, I took a while to aim and started shooting them. Because I'm not really trying to kill him. I'm just fucking around with him. To be honest, it seems like I'm dragging this clip just to be dragging it. But, um, as you see right here, I finally killed him. I'm fucking around with him. And then I go, and I go over there, back up there. And, cause like I said, this, month, uh, this video right here is a month old. And if I didn't fully explain it earlier, my shit was all fucked up with the one drive shit, so I couldn't really send no clips to none of my damn thing. I had to find another way. And I finally found another way. But uh, I'm glad to be back to be able to upload the way I wanted to be able to upload like I used to. Because I have a bunch of videos I want to get out. And my next video right now, I'm deciding on who I'm going to get a next video out for. But I'm also going to go back and do other videos related to the past Warframe videos I upload. Like uh, my Excalibur. And my ash and also a video on my Valkyrie. Like fighting lower enemies in actual missions and shit that I actually play every now and then when I actually get on Warframe. And to show you see how I like how exactly how I play. And this is exactly how I play in those in those uh like the way you see my video being uploaded in a similar crime and stuff, that's exactly how I play. Like when I'm doing normal missions, because most enemies ain't gonna be a hundred or something anyway. But um I'm gonna do like videos like that, showing those type of gameplays and stuff on Warframe and me doing that as well. Like me going and doing normal missions and playing the way I'm planning a similar crime with my bills and you're gonna see me surviving this shit. But um, you probably um, well I don't play no cool or none of that. I don't think none of my bills are that god tier for cool. Maybe my Ash and my um, my Excalibur they can, and my my Atlas, I ain't really put out no video for my Atlas, but I'm pretty sure my those three, those like my three, my Rhino something what could probably pull that off too, and my Wukong, but um, the rest of them, I can't really speak on the rest of them, but from my um, few friends that I just named, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to survive in the cool and shit like that, and stay alive, as long as I keep, I keep my energy up and I maintain doing my rotation for my building, and um, how I play depending on whatever build I'm playing on them, I'll be good. But um pretty much like I already explained with this build. It's not the fastest killing. It's not the slowest either, but it's pretty slow. I'm killing the enemies. It's mostly about me stunning the enemies, keeping them off their feet. I'm just fucking around with the enemy in the end. And as you see me sling them off the edge. And then I go back up there and shit. But, um, like I already stated, this build not the fastest, not the best build. You don't have to use the same weapon I use. You don't have to play the exact same way I play. But you want to make sure you have a way better than what I used in this video. 
It's not a good example for a uh, weapon. Well, you, this weapon not trash. It's just the way I play with weapon with the mods I use. But like I said, it's your boy this is Savage TV, and I'm out. Shoot you nigga, don't put a curb I got courage, you nigga, stay down Cause the late nigga doing my go to on floors To get the next nigga to me ride Don't get in control, yeah, they call me the baby But nigga don't play around my playground The nigga come trippin', I call him ass He leave a chop school like a eight down Let nigga that ran up